All right, Miss Smith, so we do have you confirmed for two rooms on the fourth. And you made sure those rooms are connecting, right? Yes, Miss Smith, per your request, they are connecting and I've locked that in for you. Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect, I can't wait. <laughs> okay, great, we look forward to seeing you. I can help the next guest over here. Hi, I'm here to check in. We have adjoining rooms under last name Smith. Here's my ID. Oh, hi, Miss Smith. Yes, we, we spoke on the phone, actually. I'm, I'm the one that got you the connecting rooms, but I, I thought you were arriving tomorrow. Oh, you're the one I spoke on the phone with. That's awesome. Yeah, we were originally going to be arriving tomorrow, but we found a much cheaper rate online through another site. So we just canceled tomorrow's reservation and booked for today. Oh, d d did you now? Um... Mm-hmm, I see. So, since you changed your reservation, I have to inform you that the rooms are no longer connecting. Wait, what do you mean the rooms aren't connecting? We, we spoke on the phone about this. We did. We spoke on the phone about your reservation that was originally checking in tomorrow, and I was able to guarantee you connecting rooms for tomorrow, but I can't do that for today. Well, well how is that possible? All of our connecting rooms are occupied tonight. <sighs> Well, are the rooms at least close to each other? Yes, yeah, since the rooms were booked under the same name, we did put them right next to each other. <sighs> All right, I guess if that's the best you can do, and um, you, you made sure that the third room is also close to ours as well, right? I'm sorry, what third room? Our third room under Johnson, we booked two under Smith and one under Johnson, that's three. Oh, it's under an entirely different name. I see. <laughs> Give me just one second. Um, of course. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can do some moving around because your room is on the second floor and Miss Johnson's room is up on the 10th. So give me just one moment. But you told us that our rooms were already near each other's. How did hers end up so far away? Uh, well, unfortunately, there was no indication on the reservations that these rooms were supposed to be near each other. The reservations were booked at the same time on the same card. I think it should be pretty obvious that they were supposed to be together. When you were rebooking these rooms through the third party, did you indicate that all three of these rooms were supposed to be near each other? Indicate on the third party what? what I, we booked them at the same time using the same card. That means that they're supposed to be together. So actually, when these reservations come through from the third parties, we don't get your credit card information. You've paid them directly. So when they then make the booking with us on your behalf, they generate their own credit card number for every individual reservation. So that does not indicate to us that these rooms are traveling together. The only indication we had for your rooms were that two of them were booked under the same exact name. Well, that's just stupid. That's why I personally don't book with third parties and I encourage anyone that does to call the hotel directly if they do have any special requests like rooms being close to each other. But I did call you, remember? We spoke on the phone about this. We spoke on the phone about the two rooms that you canceled for tomorrow. <sighs> this is all just so unnecessarily complicated. It really didn't have to be if you just picked up the phone and made another call. 